Now, he's not going to uh, be doing this normal, but if he was, say, in a battle position, he was lunging in, where his body momentum is not going to stop just because that sword is there. Watch what happens to the sword when he leans in. See that? Cuts right up through to the bottom of his ear. Exactly what I want it to do. All i got to do is hold on to it. So from here, you're going to turn and cut. Now, you don't want to make too big of a show of this. You don't want to go from here, turn it, then cut, because the illusion's gone, right? He can tell you're going to do it. You want to come from here, just like you're about to cut down. Watch this. Cut, cut, cut. The only thing you got a little bit of a glimpse of was me getting ready to move my body into position. Hopefully by that time he's already in the block position, not to say that every time you swing the sword you're not going to hit the person the way that you want to hit them anyway. So yeah, he may block it, he may see it, but he may not. Cutting edge up, thrust to the throat, from here, cutting edge up, and thrust to the throat. We use the katana to help with this because you can just picture it better that way. Come to here. One more time. When I'm coming here, I've got this block in, and I'm here. Now I've got this razor edge part of the sword pointed at him. When I cut up, you can see right where I want to go. I want to split here and up. One and two, all the way through to the top of his head if necessary. Remember that fighting with a sword is a brutal art. It's not... Well, we can do it with kendo sticks, and we can do it for sport and fun like that. When we're really learning the art of sword fighting, the art of the samurai, you're going to hear me describe things, cut this off, chop that off, slice through this, slice through that, get where the goodies are, you know, slice this vein, that vein, that muscle. Just terminology. Obviously, we're not going to go out there and start chopping people up, right? I mean, we definitely don't want to do that. We don't want to get ourselves chopped up either. But for learning, for the historical sake and for... Learning, if you're going to learn it, you might as well learn it the way that it was originally meant to be learned, right? With all of the different ins and outs of it. And the momentum of the cutting edge of that blade is a, it's a valuable part of that. You'll see a lot of times people, and I've had a lot of my students do this, they'll be in there and whoosh, they'll do, they'll do, they'll do, oh, my, 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 my. I got to do my laundry tomorrow, I got to go to the, pay my insurance. You know, and they're not focused and not concentrating on it. Put yourself in the position, practice it with stealth. From here, you're ready to cut, turn, and thrust with some power and with some focus. Remember that you're cutting, cutting edge up and through. Uh, practice this safely. Practice it with, let me get my, Kevin, can I borrow you for a second? Be careful, don't think. Oh, this is an easy one. Yeah, since they showed me this, I got this down. Jump over here and smile! Jack somebody in the face with this thing, because the point of that stick up against that cheekbone or in that eye obviously is going to hurt in the throat. Uh, you don't want to do that. Take your time. Be respectful of the other person that you're training with. So from here, when you're doing it, just go slow and thrust. From here, slow and thrust. And then give the other person a chance to do it. So you go back and forth with both people practicing it slowly. When you do it out here, just go ahead and go for it, man. Put it out there. 